In the shadow of gleaming skyscrapers and amid the hum of high-tech factories, a revolution is quietly unfolding across China. It's not the kind that fills streets with protesters or topples governments overnight. Instead, this revolution marches forward on mechanical legs, soars through skies with algorithmic precision, and is rapidly reshaping the balance of global power in ways most Westerners have yet to fully comprehend. China's artificial intelligence-powered robot army isn't coming, it's already here. And it's far more sophisticated, more versatile, and more concerning than most analysts have been willing to acknowledge. The People's Liberation Army, PLA, isn't just modernizing, it's transforming into what Chinese military strategists call a world-class military through a concept they've termed intelligentized warfare. This isn't mere propaganda or aspirational thinking. The Chinese military and defense industry have poured billions into robotics, swarming technologies, and increasingly sophisticated applications of artificial intelligence and machine learning. The Chinese military and China's defense industry have been pursuing significant investments in robotics, swarming, and other applications of artificial intelligence and machine learning, notes a comprehensive Brookings Institution analysis. These systems, often described in Chinese military literature as autonomous or intelligentized, represent a fundamental shift in warfare capabilities. What makes this development particularly noteworthy is how China has leveraged its existing strengths. Rather than starting from scratch, Chinese engineers have built upon their already formidable capabilities in unmanned systems and missile technology, creating a technological foundation that's rapidly accelerating. Intelligence reports suggest China could deploy fully autonomous AI weapons on the battlefield within two years. Weapons that can identify, track, and eliminate targets with minimal human oversight. Among these are what military analysts euphemistically call loitering munitions, essentially AI-guided suicide drones programmed to hunt specific targets before crashing into them with devastating precision. The implications are profound. Unlike nuclear weapons, which require massive infrastructure and generate international attention, these advanced autonomous systems can be developed in relatively small, discrete facilities. They're easier to hide, harder to track, and nearly impossible to regulate through traditional arms control frameworks. While military applications generate the most immediate security concerns, China's advances in humanoid robotics may ultimately prove even more transformative for global power dynamics. China has the potential to replicate its disruptive impact from the EV industry in the humanoid space. However, this time, the disruption could extend far beyond a single industry, potentially transforming the labor force itself, warns Rake Knutsen, analyst at Semi Analysis. The numbers tell a compelling story. China has filed 5,688 patents mentioning humanoid over the past five years, nearly four times the 1,483 filed by the United States. This intellectual property advantage is rapidly translating into market dominance. Hangzhou-based Unitree Robotics made headlines when it briefly offered two humanoid robots for direct consumer purchase on e-commerce platform JD.com. Their G1 humanoid robot, released for consumers at $16,000, significantly undercuts Western competitors on price while matching or exceeding their capabilities. For comparison, Tesla's much-hyped Optimus robot is estimated to cost around $20,000, and that's only if the company can achieve economies of scale that remain theoretical. The January 2025 Lunar New Year celebration provided a striking demonstration of China's progress 
when 16 of Unitree's advanced H1 humanoid robots performed alongside human dancers in a nationally televised showcase. The performance wasn't just entertainment, it was a technological declaration of intent. What's particularly concerning for Western competitors is that Chinese companies have achieved this leadership position while completely decoupling from American components. According to semi-analysis, the Unitry G1, described as the only viable humanoid robot on the market, contains no US sourced parts, making it immune to export controls. China's advantage extends beyond individual companies. The country owns approximately 70% of the global supply chain for humanoid robot components, leveraging its dominance in motors, sensors, and low-cost manufacturing. This ecosystem advantage allows Chinese firms to iterate rapidly, moving from prototype to production at speeds Western competitors struggle to match. The applications are expanding rapidly. Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers, including BYD and Geely, have already deployed Unitree's humanoid robots in their factories, creating a virtuous cycle where robots help build more robots. Shanghai-based Agibot plans to produce 5,000 humanoid robots in 2025 alone matching Tesla's ambitious production targets for Optimus. Even more significant is the entrance of major Chinese technology and automotive players into the humanoid robot space. Xiaomi, known primarily for smartphones, has launched its own humanoid robot division. Electric vehicle manufacturers like Xpeng are making massive investments, with reports suggesting Xpeng may commit up to $13.8 billion to humanoid robot development. Perhaps the most fascinating and concerning aspect of China's AI revolution is how the same core technologies can serve radically different purposes, from environmental salvation to battlefield domination. Consider the Great Green Wall Project. Using advanced LiDAR-equipped drones guided by artificial intelligence, Chinese scientists have counted an astonishing 142.6 billion trees as part of the world's largest reforestation effort. The same drone technology that can deliver precision strikes in military applications is being deployed to drop seeds across vast stretches of northern China, creating a massive ecological barrier to prevent the Gobi and Taklamakan deserts from expanding. The fusion of high-precision data and intelligent models ensures that every tree can be planted in the most suitable location, explains Qinghua Guo, a professor at Peking University who led the tree counting study. The Great Green Wall, officially known as the Three North Shelterbelt Forest Program, began in 1978 and is scheduled for completion in 2050, by which point it could contain 100 billion trees. This duality creates a confounding reality. The same technological capabilities that might help address climate change, perhaps humanity's greatest collective challenge, simultaneously enable increasingly autonomous weapons systems that could destabilize global security. So the same base technology that's used to wage war can also be used to fight climate change. That's the duality we're dealing with right now, notes one military analyst who has studied China's technological development. This pattern repeats across multiple domains. Advanced robotics can care for the elderly in a rapidly aging society or be deployed for military logistics. Sophisticated AI systems can optimize energy usage in smart cities or coordinate swarms of attack drones. The technology itself is neutral. It's the application that determines whether it serves humanity or threatens it. As China's technological capabilities have advanced, the United States has responded with increasingly stringent export controls aimed at limiting Beijing's access to cutting-edge AI and semiconductor technologies. 
In March 2025, the U.S. Department of Commerce added over 50 Chinese companies to its export blacklist, barring American firms from supplying these organizations without special government permits. This action, part of what policy experts call a small yard, high fence approach, aims to restrict a narrow set of technologies with significant military potential while maintaining normal economic exchange in other areas. The entity list is one of many powerful tools at our disposal to identify and cut off foreign adversaries seeking to exploit American technology for malign purposes, stated Jeffrey Kessler, Under Secretary of Commerce for Industry and Security. Yet these restrictions have proven difficult to enforce. Chinese manufacturers have demonstrated remarkable ingenuity in circumventing export controls, whether by smuggling advanced chips through third countries, using slightly downgraded GPUs that fall just below restriction thresholds, or developing domestic alternatives. The rise of Chinese AI startup DeepSeek illustrates this adaptability. By embracing open-source approaches and low-cost AI models, DeepSeek has managed to achieve impressive results despite limited access to the most advanced American AI chips. This success has put pressure on leading U.S. competitors who rely on higher-cost proprietary models. China's strong domestic supply chains in critical components like motors, sensors, and manufacturing equipment provide another layer of resilience against export restrictions. This industrial foundation allows Chinese companies to rapidly iterate from prototype to production, potentially leapfrogging Western competitors despite technological handicaps in specific areas. We end up with these weird scenarios where, on the one hand, the US is imposing sanctions, and on the other hand, we see Chinese companies building advanced robotics anyway, in part because their supply chains are so strong, observes one industry analyst. Perhaps most concerning are the emerging patterns of technological collaboration between China and nations like Russia and North Korea. Intelligence sources suggest Russia may have assisted North Korea in developing advanced AI systems, possibly in exchange for North Korean support in Ukraine. This technological diffusion means advanced AI-based military capabilities are spreading to regions where they may be deployed with fewer ethical constraints. This approach offers particular advantages against aging military platforms. While the U.S. Navy operates many ships and systems that weren't designed with AI integration in mind, China is building new fleets with artificial intelligence capabilities incorporated from the beginning. This clean slate advantage extends across multiple military domains. The potential for rapid escalation in any future conflict involving these systems is substantial. If tensions spike over flashpoints like Taiwan or the South China Sea, or if existing conflicts like those in Eastern Europe intensify, these new AI weapons could be deployed with unpredictable consequences. The speed of machine decision-making could compress response times in ways that human commanders struggle to manage. Beyond the battlefield, the proliferation of AI capabilities raises profound questions about information integrity and social stability. As AI chatbots and manipulation tools become increasingly sophisticated, societies may find themselves sleepwalking into a situation where we no longer trust what we see or read, as one cybersecurity expert puts it. Combine these information warfare capabilities with the physical presence of advanced robotics in factories, offices, and eventually homes, and the potential for social disruption becomes massive. The economic benefits of automation must be weighed against the displacement of workers and the concentration of power in the hands of those who control these technologies. The most existential concern, voiced by some AI safety researchers, 
is that highly advanced artificial intelligence might eventually escape human control, either because societies willingly cede authority to seemingly more efficient machine systems, or because the AI itself finds ways to circumvent programmed limitations. We stand at a pivotal moment in human history. The technologies emerging from research labs and factories in China and elsewhere offer both extraordinary promise and unprecedented peril. The environmental applications alone could help address existential challenges like climate change and desertification. The productivity gains from humanoid robots could generate enormous wealth and potentially free humans from dangerous or tedious labor. Advanced AI systems could accelerate scientific discovery, improve healthcare outcomes, and optimize resource allocation in ways that benefit billions. Yet these same technologies, deployed without adequate safeguards or ethical frameworks, could destabilize global security, exacerbate inequality, and potentially pose existential risks to humanity itself. What's clear is that the momentum isn't slowing. China's investments in artificial intelligence and robotics continue to accelerate, driven by both strategic imperatives and commercial opportunities. The United States and other nations are responding with their own initiatives, creating a technological competition that increasingly resembles a new Cold War. As these intelligent machines become increasingly integrated into military systems, economic production, and daily life, the decisions made in the next few years will shape human civilization for decades to come. The revolution in artificial intelligence and robotics isn't just changing how wars might be fought or products manufactured, it's redefining the relationship between humanity and technology in fundamental ways. China's AI robot army isn't just a military concern. It's the vanguard of a technological transformation that will touch every aspect of human existence. Understanding this revolution, with all its promise and peril, isn't just an academic exercise or a matter for military planners. It's essential knowledge for anyone who hopes to navigate the rapidly approaching future. The question isn't whether intelligent machines will transform our world. They already are. The question is whether we humans will maintain the wisdom and foresight to ensure this transformation serves our highest aspirations rather than our darkest impulses.